Every day there's something new. There are lots of great things for me to do. I'm Caillou. I learn so much through the games I play. And I grow bigger every day. I'm Caillou. I'm just a boy of four who wants to go and explore. How do you do? I'm Caillou. Caillou's family was on their way to buy groceries, but Daddy drove right past the grocery store. Caillou was confused. Daddy, you missed the store! We're not going to the store today, Caillou. We're going to go somewhere called a farmer's market. What's a farmer's market, Daddy? It's a place where farmers bring all the things that they grow. Can we buy food there? Yes, lots and lots of food, Caillou. When they arrived, Caillou saw the farmer's market was very different from the grocery store. All of the food was placed on tables with a farmer behind each stall. Where did all this food come from, Daddy? The farmers grow the food at their farms and bring them straight here. It's very fresh. Caillou looked for bananas, but he couldn't see them anywhere. Mommy, where are the bananas? Well, Caillou, all of this food is grown nearby, but bananas only come from very far away. Bananas don't grow here? No, the bananas come from so far away that they need a plane to get all the way to the grocery store. Caillou liked thinking about bananas flying in a plane. <laughs> then Caillou remembered something. Strawberries can grow close to here. I've seen Grandma grow them in her garden. That's right, Caillou. But I don't see any strawberries. That's because it's spring. You can't eat strawberries until they're ripe, and they won't be ready until the summertime. There were more than just fruits and vegetables at the farmer's market. They walked past a cheese stand with lots of smelly cheeses. Caillou tried some that was made from goat's milk instead of cow's milk. He thought it tasted funny. Ugh. If there's goat's milk, that must mean there's goats nearby, too! I think there's one right over there, Caillou. Caillou had never been this close to a goat before. The farmer even let him feed the goat straight from his hand. <gasps> Is that lady a farmer, too? Her hat looks silly. She's a different kind of farmer. She raises bees and sells their honey. That hat stops her from getting stung by the bees. Caillou tried some of the honey on a stick. It was delicious. The farmer was so nice, she let Caillou try on her hat. How do I look, Rosie? <laughs> Funny! At another table, Caillou saw some long, skinny vegetables. Mommy, what are those? Those are asparagus. It's a vegetable. Asparagus. <laughs> That's a funny name. Caillou liked the word so much, he said it over and over. Asparagus. Why don't we buy some? I have a wonderful recipe for asparagus soup. But I need one more vegetable, Caillou. Can you help me? What about those carrots? Ew! They're all covered in mud! That's because they have been pulled straight from the ground this morning, Caillou. Fresh from the farm. At home, Caillou washed the vegetables while Mommy cut them up. Then, they put all the ingredients they had bought in the blender. Would you like to push the button, Caillou? Yes, please! <laughs> At supper time, everyone had a bowl of the soup. Caillou had a taste, but he wasn't sure if he liked it. What do you think, Caillou? It's not as good as spaghetti, but it really was fun choosing all the vegetables. Well, you're going to have to finish your dinner if you want some dessert. Mommy brought out bowls of ice cream drizzled with the honey from the market. Caillou thought it was the best thing he'd ever tasted. Can we go back to the farmer's market again soon? 
Yes, Caillou. The next one is in the summer, so we can see what's in season then. Maybe they will have some strawberries. Caillou had to get up early today to go somewhere very special. Wake up, Caillou. It's time to go on an amazing adventure. What kind of adventure, Daddy? It's a surprise. What kind of surprise? I can't give away the surprise, Caillou, but it's going to be splashing. Splashing? Caillou heard Grandpa arriving downstairs and couldn't wait to give him a big hug. Grandpa, why are you wearing that funny hat? It's my very special lucky hat, Caillou. Whenever I wear it, it brings me good luck. What makes it lucky? Ah, uh, you'll have to wait and see, Caillou. Caillou had no idea what Grandpa's silly hat was for, but he couldn't wait to find out. Are those fish? Wow! We're going fishing! And you can't go fishing without your very own lucky hat. Caillou was so excited. He felt like a real fisherman. I'm ready. Let's go. Well, hold on now. First, we'll need to buy some food for the fish. Caillou and Grandpa went into a store by the lake called a bait store. It was full of worms and insects. You can buy bugs, Grandpa? Fish love to eat bugs. They go on the fishing line and the fish will swim right over to us. Daddy came back with a bucket full of wiggly worms. Caillou was very surprised. Ew! Worms? Fish love to eat earthworms. It's like peanut butter and jelly to them. The fisherman waited patiently to catch some fish, but Caillou had a hard time staying awake. It was still very early in the morning. When are the fish going to come and eat? Aren't they hungry? Shh! We have to be very quiet. If we make any noise, we'll scare the fish away. Caillou tried his best to be quiet. He heard water flowing and the whir of a fishing reel from the fisherman next to them. Look over there! That man caught a fish! Why did he throw the fish back in the water, Daddy? That fish was too small. It wasn't ready to be caught yet. He threw it back so it can grow bigger first. Caillou was getting tired of waiting and having to stay still. Why haven't we caught anything yet, Daddy? Where are all the fish? When you go fishing, you have to be very patient, like Grandpa. He has a lot of experience. Caillou and Daddy looked at Grandpa. He had fallen asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we take a break, too? Daddy and Caillou went to see the fishing boats. The fishermen were unloading big crates of fish. What are the fishermen going to do with all those fish? They'll sell them to the grocery store, then people buy them to eat. Caillou really wanted to take a fish home. If we catch a fish, we could have it for dinner. Can we try again? Sure we can, Caillou. Caillou was very determined to catch a fish now. He stayed as still as he could and waited very patiently. You're doing a great job, Caillou. Shh, Daddy! You'll scare the fish away! Suddenly, Caillou felt a tug on his fishing line. Daddy! Uh, I've got one! <laughs> Quick! Reel it in! Reel it in! Caillou reeled in his line. There was a little fish wriggling on the hook, but it fell back into the water. Oh, no! But I waited and waited! Don't worry, Caillou. You'll have better luck next time. You just have to keep practicing. Caillou was happy that he had gone fishing, even if he hadn't caught anything to bring home. All this fresh air has made me hungry. But we still didn't catch anything. 
Grandpa had an idea. I know where there are always lots of fish. There's my little fisherman. Wow, that's such a big fish, Caillou. Well done. Where did you catch it? Caillou <laughs> couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> we caught it at the fish store. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou and his family were on their way to pick up a pumpkin for Thanksgiving. Caillou was very excited. He loved pumpkin pie. I can't wait to choose a pumpkin. I'm going to pick the biggest one. Pumpkin! Well, we'll have to see what they have. Let's go! How do you know which pumpkin is the best, Daddy? Well, the more orange the pumpkin, the better the taste of the pie. Okay, I'm gonna look for the biggest and most orange pumpkin. After looking very hard, Caillou was able to find the best looking pumpkin in the patch. Did you find one yet, Caillou? Look, Daddy! This pumpkin is perfect! Well done, Caillou! Rosie found one, too. They'll make the tastiest pumpkin pies. Pumpkin! After everyone had picked out their pumpkin, it was time to go home and start cooking their Thanksgiving dinner. Can I carry my pumpkin, please? It's very heavy, Caillou. Are you sure you'll be able to? It's okay. I can do it. My pumpkin! <laughs> While Mommy was cooking dinner, Caillou tried to cheer himself up by drawing turkeys, but it wasn't working. Everything okay, Caillou? I'm really sad about my pumpkin. It was the biggest and most orange one ever, and now it's ruined. Cheer up, Caillou. Why don't you come and help us fill the cornucopia? Cornucopia? What is that, Daddy? It's a big horn that we fill up at Thanksgiving to show all the food that we have to be thankful for. Oh, okay. Caillou went to help Daddy and Rosie fill the cornucopia, but he was still very upset about his pumpkin. Caillou was enjoying putting little pumpkins inside the cornucopia, but they reminded him of his pumpkin. I really miss my pumpkin. Mine was so much bigger and more orange than these. We'll get you another pumpkin next year. But I don't want to wait till next Thanksgiving. Is everyone ready for dinner? I guess so. The Thanksgiving feast looked absolutely delicious and everybody enjoyed it. But Caillou was still sad. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving, Rosie? Gilbert! What about you, Caillou? I don't know, Mommy. What about all this great food? Well, it sure was yummy. What about your toys? I do have some pretty cool toys. As Caillou remembered all of the great things he had, he felt less and less upset about his pumpkin. I'm thankful for Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie, too! And what about delicious pumpkin pie? Me and Rosie made this from her pumpkin. She wanted to make sure you still had some pie this year. Thanks, Mommy! Thanks, Rosie! I'm very thankful for pie. Pumpkin! Caillou was thrilled that he still got some delicious pumpkin pie, even if it wasn't from his own pumpkin. I just love Thanksgiving! 
It was a bright sunny day, and Caillou was playing in his backyard. Giddy up, horsey! <laughs> Caillou heard someone laughing in the yard next door. There was a little girl he didn't know. Hi, my name is Caillou. Do you want to play with me? Hola, my name is Isabel. See, si, Caillou. Isabel used strange words. Caillou didn't understand everything she said. My mommy got me some new marbles. Que? Caillou sat down and rolled his marbles out across the grass. You can be the red marbles and I will be the blue ones. Rojo! Caillou hadn't heard that word before. He liked how it sounded. Rojo? <laughs> when the game was over, Isabel pulled a small white toy bunny from her pocket. Caillou was very curious. Wow! Do you want to be my friend? Isabel smiled and nodded to Caillou. She touched his cheek with Bunny. See, si, but first you have to save me from that scary dragon. Dragon? <laughs> That's Gilbert. No, it's the scary dragon and the treasure. You'll need a sword like mine. Caillou was excited. He knew that together they could defeat any dragon. Charge! Caillou, what are you doing? Me and Princess Isabel are fighting the dragon! Oh, you have so much imagination, Caillou. She lives in the red castle next door. Well, it's nice to meet you, Isabel. Now come on, Caillou. It's time for dinner, and I think Gilbert needs a rest. At dinner, Caillou told everyone about his adventure with Princess Isabel. And then the dragon roared! Roar! Roar! Caillou, please don't talk with your mouth full. Isabel had a funny word for the marbles. Rojo! <laughs> no, Caillou. Rojo means red in Spanish. She was telling you what the color of the marble was. Why does she speak Spanish? Because Isabel is from Spain. I met her parents today. They're going back home to Spain tomorrow. Spain? Where is that? Well, this is where we are. And this is where Isabel lives. But that's really far away. I don't want her to go. Caillou was very upset. He didn't want to lose his new friend. Don't worry, Caillou. Just because Isabel is going back to Spain doesn't mean you two can't stay friends. Why don't you give her something to remember you by? That gave Caillou an idea. The next day, it was time for Caillou to say goodbye to Isabel. I got you a present, Isabel, so you don't forget me. Rojo! Uh, gracias, Caillou. Bunny will help you beat the dragon. Wow! Adios, Caillou. Adios, Isabel! A few days later, Caillou was finishing off his adventure. But it wasn't as fun without Isabel. I have a special surprise for you on the computer. Caillou was very excited, so he rushed to the computer. But when he got there, the screen was blank. He was very confused. Hola, Caillou! Isabel! Isabel held up the red marble Caillou had given her and Caillou held up the white bunny she had given to him. He was very happy to see his friend again. <laughs> it was Halloween, and Caillou was very excited because he loved to dress up. Caillou, can you guess what Halloween costume I've made for you?
A firefighter? No, guess again. An astronaut! No, have another guess. Caillou thought very hard. What could Mommy have made him for Halloween? I know! A magical wizard! <laughs> Mommy had made him a wizard costume. She helped him put it on. <laughs> Something is missing. Daddy came in holding a funny pretend beard and a spooky looking book. Don't forget your hat and spell book. Ah, yes. Are you ready to make some magic, Caillou? Almost, Daddy. Abracadabra. Yes, Rosie. I have your clown costume ready here. Rosie saw the clown costume, and suddenly she didn't want to dress up and go out. No. You don't want to go trick-or-treating? No! Caillou is really surprised. He didn't think the clown costume was scary, but Rosie did. Maybe Rosie's scared to go out trick-or-treating. I'll stay home with her while you and Daddy go out. I'll bring back some extra candy for her. Caillou and Daddy left the house. It was dark and spooky outside. There were jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. Daddy, it's a bit scary out here. Don't worry, Caillou. I'm right here. Caillou walked closely next to Daddy. Let's go to Mr. Hinkle's house first. Caillou walked up to Mr. Hinkle's front door and Daddy waited at the foot of the stairs. Trick or treat! Hello there. It's not every day I get a visit from a magical wizard. What a nice surprise, Caillou. I hope you don't turn me into a frog. Caillou <laughs> was happy Mr. Hinkle recognized him. Thank you, Mr. Hinkle. Where's Rosie? Rosie was a bit too scared, so she stayed at home with Mommy. Well, you make sure she gets some of these sweets too, okay? Children in all kinds of costumes ran from house to house. Who was that girl dressed up as a fairy? And who was the Frankenstein monster she was talking to? Look at me, Caillou. I'm a scary <laughs> monster. And I'm a wizard. That monster is Leo. And Clementine's a fairy. Oh, my. You all look great. Look at all my treats. Clementine, Leo, and Caillou all compared their bags of candy. Wow, that's, that's a, a lot. lot. Caillou, Leo, and Clementine decided to go to the rest of the houses together. Trick or treat! They collected lots of treats, and soon their bags were full of goodies. It's time to go home now. Oh no, not yet! I have an idea. We can do one last trick or treat. Oh! <laughs> Caillou, Clementine, and Leo walked up to the front door of Caillou's house. Trick or treat! Who do we have here? A wizard, a monster, and a fairy. Rosie was still a little frightened. Rosie, it's me! Caillou! Rosie started <laughs> giggling. She wasn't afraid of dressing up anymore. Happy Halloween! <laughs> <laughs> it was a cold, rainy day, and Caillou was playing in his room. Blast off! 
But Caillou really wanted to go outside. What's wrong, Caillou? I wish the rain would stop so I could go outside and play Space Ranger. Well, why don't you play Space Rangers here in the house? But I don't have a spaceship. You and Rosie could make one out of this old cardboard box. Caillou thought for a moment. He wasn't sure he'd be able to make a spaceship out of a boring old box. I'll go and get some things for you to decorate it with. Caillou couldn't decide whether to make a rocket, a spaceship, or a flying saucer. Rocket! I think you are right, Rosie. Let's make a rocket! Caillou and Rosie splatted paint, stuck down colored paper, and made the old box into the best rocket they had ever seen. You can't go into space without special helmets. Thanks, Mommy! Now we look like real Space Rangers! As soon as the paint was dry, it was time to blast off. It's time to go now, Rosie! We have ten seconds until liftoff! We need to get into the rocket. Ten. Wow. Nine. Buckle in, Rosie. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Eight. All systems are go. Seven. Blast off. Rosie, we weren't ready. Ah! Soon, they were on a strange alien planet. Wow! We're really in space! Suddenly, Caillou spotted something moving behind a nearby rock. Hello? Who's there? Caillou thought the alien looked familiar, but he couldn't work out who. Hello, I'm Space Ranger Caillou, and this is Rosie. Kitty! <coughs> no, Rosie, that's an alien. Suddenly, the alien jumped forward towards them and grabbed Teddy from Space Ranger Caillou. Teddy! Uh-oh, we have to get him back, Rosie. Come on! Caillou and Rosie ran as fast as they could, but they couldn't catch the alien. Get back here with Teddy! Teddy, come back! I have a plan! We have to get him onto the ship. Rosie! Teddy! The alien ran onto the ship, scared of the heroic space ranger. Caillou's plan had worked. Caillou tried to pull Teddy from the alien's grip, but he held on tight. Give Teddy back! I did it! What are you two doing? I thought you'd be outside now that the rain has stopped. We've been on a space adventure, Daddy. <coughs> Caillou and Rosie had so much fun on their space adventure, they jumped straight back into their ship and blasted off again. Every morning, Caillou watched for the big yellow school bus that drove down his street. He always saw lots of children waiting for it. Caillou's friend Sarah hopped onto the bus and took a seat. She saw Caillou sitting by the window. What's wrong, Caillou? 
go on the big yellow school bus. When can I go on the bus like all the other big kids? Not long. Only one more birthday and you'll be old enough. That's such a long time. I want to go on the bus now. Here's an idea. Why don't we go and talk to the bus driver tomorrow morning? If you ask nicely, the driver might let you ride the bus. Caillou was still a little sad, but at least he'd get to see the bus up close. The next morning, Caillou and Daddy were waiting for the school bus. Here it comes! The bus driver pulled up and opened the door. Good morning, young man. What's your name? Caillou stood behind Daddy. He was a bit shy. This is Caillou. He'll be going to school next year. Really? That means you'll be joining my bus. What is your name? Well, they call me Mr. Billy, the bus driver. I really, really, really want to go on the bus. I can't take you on the bus ride today because the bus is full. But you and your daddy can join me tomorrow. How does that sound? Yay! I can't wait! The next morning, Caillou was so excited about the bus ride, he couldn't stop thinking about it. I heard someone is going on a bus ride today. I'm so excited, Mommy! Bus! Beep! Beep! I want to make something special for Mr. Billy, the bus driver, to thank him. Maybe you should draw him something. Caillou thought that was a great idea. He picked up his colored pencils and a piece of paper. That's me driving the school bus. What a wonderful drawing, Caillou. When breakfast was done, Caillou and Daddy met Sarah at the bus stop. Are you going on the school bus, Caillou? Caillou nodded proudly. He felt like a big boy. The bus pulled up in front of them and Mr. Billy opened the door. Jump on, Caillou. We can't be late for our route. Caillou climbed onto the bus with his daddy. Caillou and Daddy sat right behind Mr. Billy on the bus. Caillou felt like the bus driver, too. Caillou waved at each boy and girl that came onto the bus. Riding the big yellow school bus was lots of fun. Stop, start, stop, start. The bus picked up more and more children. Mr. Billy drove them all to the school. At the school, the children got off, all except Caillou. Mr. Billy, I drew you something. Wow, what a great drawing. Is that you driving the bus? Caillou nodded. He was very proud of his drawing. Wonderful. I'm going to put it up right here for everyone to see. Time to head home. Caillou didn't want his ride on the school bus to end. He was having so much fun. But when he saw Mommy and Rosie waiting for him, Caillou was glad to be home. Did you see me, Mommy? I sure did. Did you remember to thank Mr. Billy? Thank you, Mr. Billy. I had so much fun today. Me too, Caillou. Thanks for joining me today. I have something special to give you as well. Mr. Billy handed Caillou a little yellow school bus toy. Now you have your own little yellow bus that you can drive any day you want. Whoa! I love it! Thank you, Mr. Billy! Caillou waved to the bus as it pulled away. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Billy! See you soon! Caillou couldn't wait to be older so he could get on the school bus every day.